Here are the Amazon tires that I just picked up for the Jeep. Uh, these are about 100 bucks a piece. I will put a link down in the description for them if you're interested. They're a directional tire. These are uh, 225, 75, 16s, and they're crosswind. Um, if you look right behind it though, you're gonna see basically a very similar tire. That is for my 59 Land Rover. And so that is how much taller they are on the Land Rover, um, which is kind of interesting. But what's really neat is these are two different brands, but you'll notice they're exactly the same tread pattern. So um, lots of these on Amazon. These I also bought on Amazon. I don't remember exactly the price. I'll put the link for those too. And like I'll put the height difference between the two different tires. So just thought I would show you those and I'll get them on the rims. So this is a homemade tire changer. It's worked pretty well so far. Um, the only thing is, is I have to use bolts on it to lock the rim down, but pretty basic. It does have a bead breaker on the side. Just something I built, it's a, um, bolt it down to the floor. I will be painting it and moving it out to the shop soon. All right, all four are on and they should be set up correctly. We've got two facing this way, two facing that way. So our directionals are correct. And one thing about the old manual tire changer, they're a lot of work, it takes the wind out of you. Uh, once you kind of get into the groove, it doesn't go so bad. Um, the valve stems, uh, because these are tube tire or tube rims, the, the holes are oversized. I'll put a link in the description for the oversized valve stems um, so that you can just put valve stems in them and use them as uh, tubeless tires, tubeless rims. Getting ready to put the new tires on to the Jeep. Just thought I'd show you the width. They're a little bit narrower than these uh, 15s, which are uh, Goodyear's Wranglers, and they are. Uh, about an inch and a half taller. So let's see how they look once they're mounted. Okay, so there is what they look like from the front. Nice deep tread pattern. You can see my finger goes in quite a ways. See if I can get back enough to get a nice shot. Excuse the seat cushions, they're not quite done yet. All right. Well, put it in the comments. Like I say, there are links for the tires, for everything I use to put the tires on, and a link for some spoons that I'm going to purchase because, as you can see, I struggled a little bit getting these tires on. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I will give you a review of these tires after I get them out and run this thing a little bit. So, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, thank you again for coming.